All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. Today, we're here at Costco Wholesale, which is by far my favorite store ever. I've been a loyal member of Costco Wholesale since 2017. I've also had a Costco Wholesale credit card since that time to cash out on that 4% back on gas. According to Business Insider, the typical Costco shopper is a 39-year-old Asian American woman earning more than $125,000 a year. Now, that is very specific, so what I wanna to do today is go inside and put that to the test and ask folks what they do for a living, how much money they make, what their spending habits are, and what they have in their wallet. So let's go inside and have a look. What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? Uh, my name is Andrea. I'm 25 years old and I'm an account executive. How much money do you make in a year? So my base is around 70K and then I could make up to 130 with commission. Do you have a particular investing strategy? Um, right now I just do like my 401k and then I have like um, some investments in like some stocks. Did you go to college? Yes I did. I um, went to University of Arizona, studied marketing and MIS. Nice. Do you think it was worth it? Yeah, I think it was. I think it definitely opens a lot of doors for me, so. And how did you get into your career field? Just applying through LinkedIn, applying for sales related roles because that's what I studied, so just applying. What's in your wallet? Like what kind of credit cards do you like to use? Um, I have two credit cards. I have the Wells Fargo like college one I had when I was in college. I don't really use that. And then I have Chase Freedom. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then my debit card. Do you have any particular strategy with your credit cards or any cards you plan on getting this year? Yeah, I try and um, get as many points as I can. So I always use my credit card and then pay it off like that month. So yeah, trying sure. to build up my points, get some free flights. Nice. So nice. yeah. Awesome. What makes you happy? Traveling. I really like traveling. That makes me happy. Exploring, meeting new people, experiencing new cultures. It makes me happy. Nice. Thanks so much for your time. Of course. Yeah. All right. What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? Renee. I am 29 and I'm a vendor manager. How'd you get into that? Just stayed with the same company after graduating and moved up. So it sounds like you went to college. Where did you go to school? Wisconsin. Do you think going to college was worth it? No. <laughs> Why is that? I think what you can learn, it's basically just you need experience. There are some things that are good about going to college, like I would say maybe two years of what I learned was actually like somewhat applicable. Otherwise, if you're a capable human being, you can kind of figure most jobs out. Uh, do you have an investing strategy? I just kind of do like the high yield savings and the yeah. 401k kind of thing. Gotcha, I don't gotcha. really know enough about yeah, investments. No and what's in your wallet? What kind of credit cards do you use? I use the Chase Travel one, which I like really, really love, and that's all I use for credit cards. Do you have the Costco credit card or no? I don't need it, I guess. Um, my company pays for my Costco membership, so I just like never thought anything past it, except just showing up. Nice. <laughs> I need to work there. That's yeah. <laughs> so how did you get into your career field? It was like one of the few jobs like after college that I got a call back on because it was kind of a rough time after graduating and then it kind of just like took off from there I just worked my way up within the company so it wasn't really like a decision like I was I've never been someone who had a plan of like oh I really want to do this like I don't dream of labor so yeah <laughs> and what makes you happy spending time with my friends and my pets and basically nothing work related <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, absolutely. All right. What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? Hi, I'm Robert, and I am a software engineer. And how much do you make in a year? I make 144000 Is that base or including bonus and options? Uh, that is including bonus. And how did you get into software engineering? I was initially planning to be in a chemical engineer, but then I just, a friend told me about it, and then I just got into it. And did you go to college? Yes. Do you think going to college was worth it? Not at all. I mean, especially in my field, I feel like everything can be learned online, especially all this stuff about coming, like, chat. GPT and stuff like that. Our field is very online learning, self-learning than anything in college. Right, right. And do you have a particular investing strategy? I currently am not investing, uh, especially because of the market, it's not that good. But I still have in my 401k and stuff, and then that's uh, managed by like uh, Charles Schwab. And what's in your wallet? Like what kind of credit cards do you like to use? Currently got, I only have my debit card and just one credit card, and then I have another one that I just got like a mouse credit card, which is like a Capital One Vantage, and then I have a Chase, not a Chase, a Discover. Discover, um, I forgot what the, the, the word is, but yeah. And what's your favorite part about shopping at Costco? Everything's uh, huge quantities. <laughs> okay, last question, what makes you happy? I feel like just interactions with people, and like uh, with friends and stuff like that makes me happy, right? But there's also like monetary value that can make me happy. What makes you the most happy the though? The most happy? I feel spending time with friends, like yeah. That. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you.
What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? My name is Kevin. I'm 32, 33 now, and I work as a, a finance attorney. And how much money do you make a year? Uh, 130000 for the base salary, and the rest is confidential. <laughs> how did you get into that? I went to law school. <laughs> Any particular reason you got into that uh, field of law? Yeah, I like tech and finance. So right now I work in-house counsel at a fintech company, which is basically both of that. And uh, do you think going to college is worth it? Well, maybe law school or... I didn't, but now I think it is worth it. Can you elaborate? It opens more doors. <laughs> it's right. safer. What's your investing strategy? Go big or go home. Is there any particular asset class that you like to invest in, or is your portfolio more heavily weighted in one area or another? Uh, diversification, I think, yeah. A little bit of stocks, home, crypto, all of that. Do you uh, have a lot of real estate, or is that a, a big part of your portfolio? Yeah, it's not really an investment, but the home I live in. Yeah, for sure. What is your favorite part about shopping at Costco? This is my favorite store, actually. So even when looking for a home, it has to be within 15 minutes of a Costco. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Do you have the Costco credit card? No, I don't. Okay. I get better returns elsewhere. What's in your wallet right now? Right now, I don't carry one. I have a driver's license and one card that I use, but everything else is on Apple Pay, so. Okay, okay. What's your favorite credit card to use in general, or is there a certain strategy you have with getting points or rewards in your credit cards? Yes, I love min-maxing. So right now, one of my favorite cards is the US Bank Altitude Reserve. Hmm. Gets me four and a half basic returns at Costco. I think that's better than Costco credit cards yeah. actual rate. So how do you define success? Being happy. And what makes you happy? We got a dog recently. So being with my, spending time with my wife and the dog, I guess these days, nice. I come into Costco. <laughs> yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> Great, well, thank you so much for your time. Cool, what's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? All right, so my name is Aditya Gupta. I'm 16 years old and I'm a student at Lhasa High School. And do you have a Costco credit card or you just have a membership here? Uh, it's a membership and it's my mom's. <laughs> so I guess I can't ask you if you think it's worth it or not. How do you invest? Do you have an investing strategy? Lately, the strategy has changed a little bit. There's been a lot of volatility in the market. For this competition that we did specifically, I was looking at a lot more short-term decisions, sort of trying to time the market, which is not normally what you'd want. But generally, um, I would say I prefer a long-term strategy. I like uh, looking at reliable companies that are performed well over time and maybe diversifying my portfolio with a bit of risk. But uh, yeah, overall, I do like a long-term strategy, but recently okay. it's been more short-term. Specifically, are there any equities that uh, you've found a lot of value in or underperforming yeah. stocks? Yeah, so uh, one, one stock in particular that I've found is very undervalued right now is Amazon. I mean, you've seen like stock prices fell like 50% in the past year. Uh, so my grandpa actually gave me like a thousand dollar check to invest in. I just put it all on Amazon. I was like, it's too good not to. We'll see how that does. Where do you see yourself in uh, five or 10 years? So in five or 10 years, I definitely see myself working at a startup. I feel like that's where the more, most opportunity for growth is. I'm in school right now, so I'm, I'm working on trying to build value, or like trying to build value in myself so I can bring value to, to the startup I'm working with. I nice. think that's very important. Do you plan on going to college? I do, I do plan on going to college, hopefully UT. Hook em horns. What's in your wallet right now? Do you have any particular credit cards you like to use? You don't have to pull it out. Right? Uh, I th so I have a debit card right now, that's all I have, but I know a credit card is something that I'm looking into getting really soon because I think building a good credit score is very important if you want to take out loans to maybe invest in real estate, which is another way to diversify your investment portfolio. Nice, so, yeah. nice. Do you have any mentors that uh, you follow their advice or people that you look up to? There's a couple of YouTubers I'd say that I've watched uh, Graham Stephan's a good one. Uh, I watched a lot of him. Yeah, yeah uh, there's a few good ones, but overall I've just been surrounded by people in my life who've given me great financial, personal finance advice. Um, so just sort of piqued my interest at a young age. It's when I started trying to learn about things. Nice, okay. And outside of your investing project, are there any other side hustles or things like that you're doing right now? I have an investment club at my school also, and then we sort of centered around the market watch simulation. I'm sure okay. you've heard of that. So it's a great way to get other students engaged um, because they can play around with money and without without any actual risk and uh, I think one of the most rewarding things is to see other students get interested in something that that you showed them so nice. yeah awesome cool yeah. well thank you so much for your time this Thank is great you. thanks yeah, man of course. okay what's your name age and what do you do for a living uh, I'm Sunil Lee and I work graphic designer did you go to college uh, yeah I graduated in Korea South Korea nice. do you like living in the United States better or in Korea living in Korea is better but okay. working is way, way better here really? okay and then working in balance <laughs> mm, I see, I see. Okay. Do you think going to college was worth it? Yeah. I learned a lot of things, like 
from college, like how I have to design, like or like even philosophy thing, mm-hmm. like like very mentally how I broke down, like my mental breakdown. How can right, recover right. or how can I design very mm-hmm. like very basic thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, cool. but don't need to graduate college for design, but. Yeah. Sometimes need that. <laughs> Can you tell us how much money do you make doing graphic design? Uh, I make 65 k okay. for a year, but I pay a lot of tax. So <laughs> yeah, sure, we all yeah, do. It's taxes. not that much. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you have any particular investing strategy? Or is there any, you know, maybe stocks or equities that you like to invest in? No, I didn't do that. Just saving. <laughs> nice. Do you have like a long-term goal for what you want to save for or anything like that? Trying saving right now for buying condo and monthly i pay for like almost two thousand dollars for land so yeah. i try saving that is there any particular credit cards you like to use or like what do you have in your wallet right now uh i using the american express for mileage for the delta okay okay <laughs> yeah cool. for like every year i'm going to korea so i try saving mileage for upgrade seat or right, got a right. benefit do you think the american express card has been worth it for you for mileage yes <laughs> But the saving for the grocery shopping or like kind of other things, no. Is there any other credit cards you think you might get this year to, you know, cover those other spending categories perhaps? Uh, I was thinking about maybe the capital one. Uh-huh. Capital yeah. one, yeah. Like the Venture X? Or? Yeah. Cool. And maybe last question, uh, what makes you happy? I'm happy when I work home, like before sun's down and come home and walking my dog and having enjoyed dinner nice. and like feel like I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> because in Korea, I come home like 2 a.m., like oh, 1 a.m. Yeah, like I was dying and I'm watching like sun rise up, like, but <laughs> now i watching sunset with my dog and yeah, having yeah. dinner. Nice. That's good. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. All right, what's your name, Agent? What do you do for a living? My name's Alex. I'm 35, and I own an artificial turf business. How did you get into that? Uh, I worked in an office with no windows for five years, and I was like, get me out. Uh, always wanted to do my own thing, so that came across. It's a franchise model. Okay. Um, that came across. It's called Grass365. Uh, came what across and it? was a good opportunity and took advantage of it. Did you go to college? I did. I went to the University of Texas. Okay. And do you think it was worth it? Hard to say. I graduated in the uh, last big recession that we had, so not a great lot of great opportunities. It was tough for a 22-year-old at the time sure. uh, with a degree in advertising. I would say going to school for something that like you know more about the options out there and like the actual income potential is important. Uh, going into like finance or even accounting, you know, you kind of know the path. There's a chart, uh, career field like that that's patented. That's definitely worth it. I think uh, going into something more abstract is a tremendous waste of money. How much money do you make in a year? Uh, make like mid six figures. Okay. Can you explain a little bit maybe like your business model and like how the, your business operates? Sure. Um, basically, it's mostly all, you know, online ad driven sales and then a referral market like a traditional contractor would be um, with. That being such a growing field, it was a really good time to get into it. So um, that's exploding. Artificial turf's everywhere now. I mean, it's in the parking lot here. It's not very good, but you know, it's in there. Uh, And so it's a lot of referral-based business. So a lot of in-person sales to get going and then developing relationships across kind of the industry or various industries that might be related. Uh, We do a lot of work with contractors who are everything except for turf, Mm -hmm. right? They do everything, we come in, finish it up, or pool builders, that kind of stuff. Sure, sure. Entrepreneurship, as everybody knows, is quite difficult. So maybe what's the biggest roadblock or hurdle you had to overcome when uh, you know, getting to this point? Um, if you think you're, that, you're, that you really do want to work for yourself, uh, start yesterday. Because like, waiting and waiting and waiting is just it's silly. And like, you know, I kind of learned from my own mistakes. I waited, and obviously I was able to get in with this franchise model, so that was great. But in hindsight, I think just starting doing something a little bit and kind of learning about it is a good way to do it. Um, and really just jumping in and trying to say like, okay, if you have, if you're a young person, you have like five, six, seven hundred dollars that you're like, I'm willing to lose this if I learn something from it about business, right? Everyone wants to jump on the bandwagon of like, I'm going to throw money and this is my side hustle and now I'm bringing in all this crazy money or Amazon drop shipping or any of that kind of stuff. It's really lucrative, right? But at the same time, like, try to project out a field for it, or maybe even if you want to zigzag a little bit and do something different, do that. But take the money that you're willing to put up up for it and do it. Make mistakes and do the wrong thing and maybe lose some money, maybe lose all your money, but then you gained the knowledge of what doesn't work. So I'm a big believer in finding out what doesn't work. (laughs) Trust me.
<laughs> like There's that. a lot of things that don't work that I've learned. Um, yeah, so uh, that's definitely something you want to do as a young person, especially like just do it. Just figure something out and do it. Because if you're somebody that's going to be stuck in a office and that's not what you want to do for yourself, don't ever put yourself in the office. Because once you're in the office, it's really hard to get out of there. Do you have any particular investing strategy right now? Not a whole lot. Pretty conservative with how volatile things have been. I mean, I, I miss the Bitcoin, the, the crypto bandwagon, but that also means that I miss the crypto crash. Uh, as far as investing goes, I normally I let the pros handle it. I set aside certain amounts of money, send that over and, and you know, hey, be very conservative. Always max out your IRA. Always, um, I'm self-employed, so I also have a self-employed pension, which is another great tax benefit of working for yourself. Um, so I'm able to do even more than like the 5,500, 6,000 bucks that it is in the IRA. But, nice. you know, be conservative, put aside some set money um, that, yeah, it's not going to earn a lot, but you know that it ain't going to lose because it's just kind of a conservative strategy to it. What's the next step in scaling your business? Well, that's, it changes every day. Um, I mean, it's always, you know, sales solve everything, right? So more and more sales, then you can backfill it with more and more crews of guys, more and more equipment, so on and so forth, right? But sales solve everything. Okay. Maybe that goes back to your entrepreneur wanting to start things up, right, right? right? Sell a bunch of stuff and that brings your money back in pretty quickly. Nice, awesome. Yeah. This is great. Thanks so much for your time. Absolutely. All right, folks, that about wraps up this one. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. It is always a good time coming to Costco. I personally think we interviewed some very interesting individuals today, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below. Comment if you guys have any questions or have something to say about the video. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.